to another episode of the Escolax Hour. I'm your host, Efrain Martinez. This is episode 75, the Escolax Hour, we, where we shoot uh, from Boa Heights. We bring you art, artists, and, uh, interviews, and news, just everything that involves art, Los Angeles, Long Beach, anywhere. Today we have uh, our special guest, Ninoska. Uh, his name's uh, Hannibal. Mm -hmm. Come on, on. <laughs> come on down. <laughs> yeah, come on down. So, yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, yeah. So, Ninoska, I met him uh, at the East, El, uh, East Los Angeles Art Walk a few months ago, and so I decided to bring him on. And today we're gonna just ask him questions about his artwork. Especially me, I'm really curious about the name. So we're gonna sit down and get right to it. Cool. Okay. You wanna take a seat right there? Cool. And then, yeah, as you can see over there, we have their art. Oh, you cool. see it? You see it? Yeah, right. virtual. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was just telling us how it's all green screen and then like, you can't see what the audience is seeing right now. But well, we can see it on that TV. We're, at, we're actually in front of LACMA. <laughs> exactly, yeah, you guys can tell where uh, <laughs> the LACMA backdrop. Yeah, those people are moving, they're aliens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, I went on. That's this Sunday, I think it's last Sunday. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. For that Guillermo del Toro, the exhibit they have. Oh, I heard about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was dope, I oh, went okay. there. That's how I took the picture. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, it's the, the light post. I don't know, have you been there before? Yeah, I've, I've been there, yeah. Yeah, it's the light post. But they're like fixing in front of it, so I wasn't able to get like okay. that. But you can the tell, whole, you, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, I've been there. Because you recognize it right away. Yeah, yeah and um, so thank you guys for being with us. Uh, everybody from Dronebox, Facebook, uh, Hannibal, what's your last name? Garcia. Hannibal Garcia from Ninoska. Ninoska Arte. There you go. I'm still trying, having problems pronouncing it. I just suck. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the same thing, you know, the Esquilax mm -hmm. Um It's kind of a diff difficult name to pronounce also. People, yeah, I had a hard time with that too. Yeah, yeah. people are also like, trying to get it right, but it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, and do you, so you said you right now, you, you grew up in Boyle Heights, right? Or you yeah, at least I'm, lived here? Yeah, I, I'm, I was here like for 25 years. Oh yeah, oh, you oh, yeah, grew up yeah, in Boyle yeah, Heights. Yeah. So you saw, you've seen the changes that are going on right now. I've seen the changes uh, outside uh, in the streets and also even with this building. Yeah, 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 because this one, it, it yeah. burned down. Like it was yeah. basically like yeah. gone. So yeah. um, I, from what I know, yeah, it, was for a, it took a while for somebody to actually come in and like, right. buy it. That's how we ended up with the coffee shop next door. Okay. And then like the studio here and then like the, sh the other shop on the side. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> it no, smelled pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They got good. They, they, they're up in there. We knew the original guys. This is like the four people in there. So okay. We don't really know them. Oh, yeah. But the original guys, yeah, they were dope. Okay. They were cool. Um, yeah, I don't know if you saw Michoacan, like the taco place. Everybody's talking about that. Oh yeah, I, we just drove by. Yeah. Yeah, it's, how it's, it's like it's, gone uh, now. It's gone, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you 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 saw it right when it was like back in the days. Yeah, I, I used to go ditch there. Oh, there you go. You see, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people they remember it because of the the school. Yeah, because yeah. I went to Holland back and we didn't want to go to first period or we were late. We just, just go, go to uh, Michoacan. Yeah, but then later on they started uh, enforcing, uh, um, I guess ditching rules. You couldn't ditch there anymore. So we all went, we all went to Holland Back Park. So. <laughs> um, so tell me about the name. Where did you get Ninoska? Ninoska is uh, my girlfriend Jacqueline. That's her on the, on the right here in the picture. That's her uh, little sister's name. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, that's her. It's like an Ninoska. That's her name. Yeah, that's her name. That's an actual. That's a, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's I, uh, I, unique. I, I like that name because then people don't pay attention to my name. Because my name's kind of also kind of strange. Kind of. <laughs> so, like, oh, yeah, okay. So, you know, it's got easier to, to uh, try. No, out. it's unique. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. yeah, like you said, it calls your attention. Yeah, and some people think that's my name. Like, even if I tell them like 10 times after meeting them, that's not my name. They still call me Ninoska, but that's not my name. So, that's her, her sister's name. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what I thought it was, was like, like, Half of somebody's name and half of another person's name. And then, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I, I I try to. I always before the guests come on, I always try to kind of figure out like the idea behind their name or their art. Mm -hmm. and just kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Every, everyone always picks something that's um, 
that has something to do with either themselves, a nickname. You know, a lot of uh, graffiti artists go by like, uh, I'm not, they go by, you know, nicknames or they just uh, combine names. Yeah. But this one, people thought we were big fans of ska music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. which we like ska, but like it's not, it's, no it's, it's, the right it's not about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And her, uh, when you know ska, I think, I think her dad got it from a, I think a Mexican actress or singer from the back, back in the 1940s. Nice. Yeah, and so I think he either was in, in love with her, or I don't know, I'm not sure what's going on, but... Probably a fan, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe that's why a lot of men named their kids Maria, because Maria or Felix, but I don't know. Vicente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah Vicente, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vicente Fox. Um, <laughs> but that's why he named her Ninoska, and that's a very nice name. No, it is. Yeah. It's unique. I, yeah. I'm telling you that the first thing I found, yeah. like, you know, Scott, I thought it was your name. Yeah, like yeah. you said. I wish it was my name, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so that's your logo, right? That's the logo you guys Yeah, use. J Jacqueline, uh, my girlfriend, uh, she painted that logo for us. And we've had other logos, but that's been the, the one we've had the longest. And it's, I like it. It's, I think it's perfect for us because it, it combines a lot of things. Uh, first, ourselves. We actually, because for a long time, we didn't want, we didn't really, uh, want to come out and stuff we did. We didn't want to be all, you oh, know, we wanted our work to be about the, the art yeah. and not about us coming out in pictures or on pictures or anywhere. We were just like, we don't want to be about that. But um, some people would ask like, well, who are these people? Like, I'd never see them. Like, who's the one that writes? Who's the one that, you know, responds to my messages? There was never a face. So, you know, let's put a face to what we're doing, but let's put other faces and let's put ourselves put in, in a different yeah. form. So that's what we did, and Jackie drew that pretty nicely, and she added a, a piece that we both did. I did a Chewbacca, and she did a... a oh, yeah, I saw that, because yeah, you and, sent me that one, too. Yeah, it's yeah, going to come out later. Yeah, and, and uh, she drew a, a Zapatista on, yeah. on hers. And, um, and the papel picado, that looks kind of like our kitchen, because our kitchen has a bunch of papel picado. And, and uh, yeah, the clothes, we, I think we wear shirts like that, but the pants, I don't think so. It, <laughs> they kind of look like soccer mom pants on mine. So soccer mom know. pants. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I, I think that's probably my only complaint about the drawing is that I don't wear soccer mom pants, but that's fine. No, it's, it's <laughs> it, um, so yeah. It's basically all like about you guys, and then combine it into the logo, right? Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. and which like, we kind of struggled with that because again, we don't want to make it about us. It, to the us, it's always, to the, it's always been about the art and her little sister. But you know, people did ask to you know review it ourselves, so we we're like, okay. Look, because I've yeah. seen you guys before. Like, mm -hmm. uh, besides that, I've seen, well, not you, you. Like, personally, I didn't, you know, I didn't go up to him. Like, mm -hmm. so, uh -huh. uh, I would recognize the art. It's like you said, the art. Yeah, like, yeah. That's Ninoska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the first time I saw the actual art was in the boutique Quetzal. Oh, Quetzal boutique. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they had it, and I was like, oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I saw like the. El Chavo, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Tilindrina. And I'm like, oh, I wonder who does that. And then I had seen it again online. I'm like, oh, that's Ninoska. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're uh, getting better, Ninoska, so you can Ninoska. see <laughs> Gradually. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, and so you guys are, uh, you, your parents are from Mexico or? Uh, well, it's funny because everyone assumes because because uh, the yeah like everything the papel look, picado every, everything looks Mexican. The the yeah, they'd be, they'd be surprised to know that you know Oscarte is only one quarter Mexican. <laughs> oh yeah, they'd be, they'd be very surprised. They'd be like, "Whoa, I didn't know that. I thought you guys were just from Guadalajara or something." But no, we're not. <laughs> okay, you want to know where your my, my dad's background, my yeah. dad's from Mexico. Uh, my mom's from Ecuador, South America. Oh, all right. And uh, Jacqueline's family is from El Salvador. Oh, yeah. That's See? interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the logo and from the yeah. artwork, I'm like, yeah, yeah you know, they're yeah. Look, everyone, yeah, but uh, Mexican heritage. Yeah, know. but uh, we I, we come from the from the thinking of like uh, you know the whole no borders thing. So yeah, we yeah. kind of feel like even though there's borders, we kind of feel like everyone is like a one people kind of thing. Yeah. So we don't see ourselves as that. So we just kind of feel like it's all just a big meshing of. And you know, a lot, a lot of people may not know this, but uh, when you travel to other parts of, I guess that what they call Latin America, a lot of the stuff looks similar to Mexico, especially because we all have indigenous, uh, um, yeah, and you know, like backgrounds, and uh, they all we all have the same, almost the same kind of culture. Not exactly. I know there's parts that are different, but uh, everyone, you know, people go get a little bolsita or or shirt. Oh, did you get that idea? It's in Mexico. A lot of people get stuff from Peru, Guatemala. Yeah, I went, I've been they're to, similar. Like the, yeah, I, I've been to Ecuador a couple of times, and it was very similar to Mexico, especially the ones that were uh, 
pueblitos where there were more like in, indigenous population. It was very similar. It reminded me a lot of Plaza Alvera, so it was it was interesting. Yeah, yeah I could, yeah, I could, I, yeah. Cause yeah, um, I've seen like bags from yeah from Guatemala and yeah, like yeah. Peru, like yeah. the little bags that people do handmade leather. Or they want the little the little llamas, you know. Uh -huh. stuff like that. Yeah. And they're pretty similar, similar colors, similar yeah, patterns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, but yeah, but yeah, we're one quarter Mexican. That's cool. You yeah. see one more thing that we know <laughs> yeah. about Ninosca. Yeah, yeah, Ninosca. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So when? How long have you guys been doing like art or making art? Since like you were young, uh, yeah. Uh, since we were both, uh, I guess, kids or teenagers, um, but we didn't start um, creating together until uh, obviously since until we met each other, and then a year later we kind of like started drawing together and and because uh, we both I used to sell art before years ago before that and Jackie's uh, his family uh, would. Uh, they were like people who would go to swamis. Yeah, they had, yeah. They, had, they had businesses, so we were like, you know what? Let's let's try to like sell some of this artwork, and we tried doing it, and you know, little by little, it you know took off a little bit, and so from like, from right there, we kind of like took it, and then it took a long time for us to see any kind of like real like dividends, you know, like yeah. But um, right now you guys have a big following. You guys are known. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're thankful. Yeah, because yeah, in cool. the beginning we were like very. If we looked last time, we it's were hard. We yeah. just bought a new laptop, and we're. I was looking through some pictures that, because I'm trying to erase stuff, and and some of the st <laughs> some of the work from before was very. I don't know. I just didn't like it, and um, but I'm very grateful that people bought it. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, you know, because of because those those people, just like any other artist, when you start off. You're always you're very timid, and sometimes you could be well. Sometimes you could be. Tim I, mean, I, I was timid, so was she. Yeah, that's you don't, usually the case. Yeah, because you don't want you don't know if people are gonna like laugh at you, especially your friends and family kind of look at you like like what are you doing? You know, go back to yeah, work. Yeah, go, go, go get a get a real go job. work at uh, <laughs> go go work for lumber at office. Yeah, place, you know, but uh, but we were very um, yeah. But we, then we got over that. Like everyone else, you get over it and yeah. you just keep on going and and yeah, so. We're very fortunate, and we feel like we put in the work, you know. So, you know, so gladly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And how long have you been doing, like, uh, um, the like the events and the venues? Since two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. Okay. Yeah, that's when we started. I think we kind of started too because of the whole, uh, you know, the economy wasn't doing that great. Okay. The recession. So uh, we were kind of like we were um, products of that. We were both out of a job, and we just kind of like said, you know what, let's do something else. You know, the whole DIY, do it yourself. You know, so I grew up on punk, so yeah. punk, punk rock. So uh, I got a lot of the attitude from being a punk rocker, doing it yourself. So making your own clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So. Hey, oh yeah, because you guys have a shirts now, right? Too. Yeah, we have yeah, shirts. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we have just shirts. had. We just we got our own shirt line, bags, and. Um, yeah, we have stuff like that available, yeah. which is cool because we never even thought any, any time before this that we would have ever done something like that. So it's very cool. You yeah. just started with like drawings and paintings only, or we started with like a lot of jewelry. Jackie would do a lot of bows, a lot of paintings, and we would just do paintings on anything and just sell them and like for very cheap. Like now I look back, I'm like oh man, like it was very cheap, cheaply priced. Cause yeah. all, you know, cause pe some people would tell us like, what are you guys doing, like? Stop selling originals that cheap, you know, and and we were against making prints, but um, yeah, but uh, we we decided to do it, and you know, it's yeah, it's, you it, when you're doing it for a while, you start looking at what people like are into, and then what's easier for people also, because not a lot of people can buy like the hundred, two hundred dollar one, but yeah, well, yeah, because it's because there's diff there's different types of types of artists, like like when I saw your work, you you do like. You're, that's pretty big. We don't. We've never done anything that huge. Oh yeah. It's on canvas, right? Or yeah, something? it's canvas cloth. Uh huh. Yeah, it's nice. And uh, we've never Thanks. done anything like that. And uh, so there's artists who get into doing murals. And sometimes when you're when you when you have that kind of skill, it's easier for you to get into the scene and like get known really quick because you do stuff that's very unique. Because not everyone could do that, you know. But our our talent was in the small stuff and when when detail yeah I've so and our thing. yeah that's our so that's our thing it's a small small and a lot of artists good for them they don't have to do stuff like that because they've done massive work and they don't have to struggle vending 
every arm. Oh no, I, I even uh, I've tried bending. I yeah. mean, like I made smaller uh, pieces too, because no. the big ones, you know, I be like I don't know a grand, two grand, oh, yeah, five hundred yeah. bucks. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. It's like, but I'm not like oh you know, bam bam sales here. Yeah, so yeah, there. yeah, it's yeah. more like every now and then. Yeah, so yeah. it's like no, what I, yeah, yeah, and I appreciate artists like that because I wish I had that kind of skill set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I wish I had that. Yeah, you're like yeah. <laughs> no, no. I mean, because like I actually I stopped doing it. Mm like 2006 like mm -hmm. I only did it for a while with okay. spray can and then once we started on the show again I started picking it up again and just kind of practicing it like okay. every Friday here for like I don't know I guess like around 30 times then I start getting my, my skill back oh, okay yeah so yeah, yeah. But now that's why you, you see a little I'm a little bit better than when I started it's just like you you said you guys started like you're looking back at your photos and you're like you're selling this and you're making this and yeah i think like, i think every artist does that they yeah. look back and they're just like <laughs> you know i wish i wish i could have that painting back or whatever yeah i got a couple yeah that i'm like <laughs> damn but you know what it's what i think to what comes down to me is that somebody somebody actually bought it and because of those people then they, they're the ones that kept you going the support because yeah people are strangers believed in you you know yeah, that's what you're telling me, yeah. like, because, like, yeah. some close friends and everybody's like, what are you doing? And yeah. then, like, you have strangers, like, oh, man, you know, your yeah, and stuff is dope. And I, it kind of does kind of suck a little bit when you have strangers supporting you as opposed to your own friends and family. But that's how it is. <laughs> but, yeah, and then you say you get over it, though, and then you understand. That, yeah, you get over it, yeah. That strangers or just, like, art lovers, they'll be like, yeah. you know, they're yeah. there, so. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah. And so we're going to go... This one's uh, Frida's heart. Yeah, el, el, yeah, Frida's heart. That's uh, one of Jackie's drawings. Yeah. And you guys mainly are, is it oil or is it acrylic? We use uh, acrylic, mostly acrylic. Acrylic? Yeah. And these are all by like, how big are they? Because you said they're a smaller size. Aren't yeah, they? they're all, mostly they're all nine by 12 or smaller all around there. Yeah, we don't really do anything bigger. Only because uh, since we uh, mass produce our work. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't use the word mass produce. That sounds like. We uh, make a lot of uh, prints. Uh, we have to uh, be able to scan them, so you, you can't can scan them. I can't scan anything, you know, unless you. Yeah, unless you have a huge printer. Or yeah, whatever. or something. I don't know how that works, but you got to shrink it down, or whatever, you know. But only because of that, we do stuff like that. But um, yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah. I, I like when I saw them at the boutique. Yeah, they're like small, like you said, but they're yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm and, like, man. And the reason we do them small is because uh, we want everyone to be able to take something home with them. Yeah, we, you don't we, want to carry anything. Yeah, we like to make stuff that's affordable. Yeah. So everyone could have something instead of just like, well, these are 40, these are 50, and you know, and I, you want somebody to take your work home. And and our philosophy is that as far as for us, like all the small amounts, it, it adds up, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. and then. Um, they're they're small enough to uh, physically take them too. Cause yeah, 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 yeah. Like. You know, people, they're, they're, they're like, let's say at the art walk. I don't know, you guys go to uh, downtown? Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you, they're walking around. They don't want to, if they buy something, they don't want to carry it around also. Yeah, we, we did sense. one, we did a Ciclavia event one time, and that's, we kind of learned that too. People wanted to get stuff that yeah. they could put in their backpack because if they're biking all day, especially if they're sweating, you put a big painting in your backpack, <laughs> you, you get yeah. home, and you that thing is, it. uh, it's like, no. No, but yeah, as you go, as you're saying that, you start learning all these, you yeah. know, small details. About yeah, you do. It. Yeah. Besides the actual art, the, like the business side of it. You do, yeah, you do, yeah. Like, cause then, and then one more thing is each one is hand painted, right? You guys. The originals, yeah. Yeah, but, the originals. but not the prints, no. Like the stuff you've seen, like, like it, for example, Quetzal Boutique. No, those are prints. The prints, yeah, like, prints, yeah. The little canvas ones. I think yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Those oh, are prints, yeah, those yeah. are prints. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And do you guys like uh, what do you call it? Stretch them yourselves or? No, it's just all print. It's all paper. It's, yeah. Oh, pretty. I'm guessing I saw. I mixed it up. When yeah, I probably. Saw that. Yeah, yeah. Like I mm -hmm. saw prints, and then like when I saw. Do you guys have the originals? Like when you mm -hmm. put them on the, the venues? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I probably saw that right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Because yeah, there was a wall in there, but uh, I have men bad memories. So. <laughs> no, I do. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But um, so Frida is she like an influence or is she, she just like? Uh yeah. Uh, at least for Jackie. Uh yeah, well, Jackie? yeah. For the yeah for the both of us. Uh, yeah. Probably more for Jackie, but uh, we both uh, 
where that's like maybe one of our biggest influences and um, I'll, I'll, not, not just also because of the artwork she made because the artwork she made was amazing but um, but to me lately for me personally it's because uh, I've, ha I've had some health problems yeah yeah and um, I know and then Jackie's had had also yeah. health problems so to me I've learned to appreciate her more because of that because um, she had obviously she had a lot of health problems yeah what she went through yeah, yeah what she went through so when you see somebody like that who went through something that's so that was like year after year of like just like suffering suffering and yeah. so like I'm like you know what if she could do it I could get over this little thing I'm going through so so it was very it's like motivational so so because of that that's why I um, I uh, love her work and love who she, what she's about because of that so and then the, obviously the artwork is important too but just lately for me I've been yeah kind of like channeling that part of Frida I've been trying to take Frida in myself so like, no, no, to channel my own inner, my, my inner Frida so yeah so yeah yeah um yeah I saw the pictures of her when yeah. like she had the whole accident and she's like a body cast yeah yeah um, that's you got to be tough to go through so, something through that you yeah can. and then the 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 inner the pains like the like just because your body looks fine doesn't mean like your insides are the, yeah, the, the, the human body is so complicated that any little thing happening to an organ it just like kind of screws your whole mechanism you know so she was she must have been going through that for years and and when i have yeah. a little feeling sometimes i start like freaking out you yeah know? no I same know. here I, uh, yeah, I have health problems that's yeah, here yeah and yeah, yeah now i'm like oh crap you know like gotta, this here now you just yeah. start and i get all you know i get all like anxious i get all like you know yeah, so i have like anxiety yeah. problems you know so but then i start thinking about people like her you know man like i need to tough it out i need to get through this because she did it you know you know so Nice. Yeah, That's yeah. good. That's a yeah. good way to see it. Yeah. Good way to see her and her art. Yeah. And uh, let me see now. <laughs> the next one, like uh, Superwoman? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Wonder, yeah. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Superwoman. <laughs> yeah, Superwoman. Yeah. Wonder Woman. And yeah. then you guys, um, you guys are in, use a lot of the skulls, right? Is that representing? We, we we decided to stay with skulls and the Dia de los Muertos kind of themes in the yeah. beginning because uh, mainly because like again like the reason we named our our art uh, business Ninosca Arte was because her little sister but it's mainly because also because her little sister passed away oh man so we Sorry. yeah yeah and um, thank you <laughs> and so we were like okay what could we call ourselves we can't jackie hannibal you know it was very generic you know yeah. they didn't really seem like you know so we wanted to pick something that really meant something and so you know sometimes people pass away you know your loved ones your pets you always want to do something to like for them to always be there yeah because sometimes sometimes it's true sometimes people do forget about people no yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Bad. you know you, you forget about people because because then somebody else passes away, so it's always, you know, so that, so I, I thought, you know, this is a good way to always keep her close to her sister, but not only her, but to her whole family. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's a good way to uh, remember her and like, you know, so, so, so she's always going to be there. So, and then. Um, no, yeah, now that so, you tell me that, yeah, yeah you know. So, uh, so that's what we chose Dia de los Muertos, because uh, when I, um, when I met Jackie, uh, she had never been to one of those events. And yeah. I took her to, actually, I took her to one. Her first one that was right here on the Sixth Street Bridge. I remember these these town before. Yeah. And uh, and she was very uh, taken back by the whole event, and because she had just recently lost her little sister, and she also had lost her dad. Yeah. Right before that, um, so the whole the whole uh, philosophy of Dia de los Muertos was really like something that she could relate to, and it was very comforting for her. And. Um, and so we we decided just to you know like let's just kind of stay with the same theme and but our work isn't just like about you know the whole you know muertos and stuff like that it's also because it's also based off like of nostalgia yeah because a lot of the characters we draw are you know stuff like maybe characters that are cartoons and movies that aren't necessarily they're all fictional characters not, not all of them but there's some that are fictional characters yeah and like for example one time this guy we were at some event and this guy is all like Yoda hasn't died. Why are you drawing Yoda dead? He hasn't died. And I'm like, oh, well, technically he did die, but he's like, oh, well, he's not a real person. So he can't. So he was debating whether or not. Oh, like, yeah, you know, I the whole. See why, yeah. yeah, so it's like people are very traditional with the other dead. They, they want you to just to.
people who are traditional, they want you to just draw stuff that's traditional. Yeah. So our stuff isn't very traditional, but also because our stuff isn't just based off also Day of the Dead, it's also based off of nostalgia. And personal. And, yeah, growing up and missing things. Yeah. Because at the same time, you like, for example, you guys have that He-Man uh, yeah, drawing the over there. Yeah, the coloring yeah, I won't talk about what's on it, but um, the, the He-Man drawing. And um, so stuff like that, like me, because I'm, I'm, you know, you, you grow older and you start yep. missing you start missing things yeah and so i miss watching stuff like that and being able to just stay home and does not do that. responsibilities that's one thing that people yeah. you know so so our stuff is also has to do with that missing your your uh, childhood and remembering so in, in a way we're trying to draw them as calaveras to say that they're living they're, they're going to live forever and so it's it's nice. you know so that's our philosophy be, behind that well yeah no it it's it's, it's it's dope. It's yeah, dope like, to live forever and through the art. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you kind of immortalize your uh, the stuff you like. You know, it could be a cartoon or a wrestler or you know a musician. You know, but the ones that are fictional, we like to draw them like that because again, because um, we you know you we miss you know having that. You know, so me personally, too, I miss having those cartoons and stuff like that. Even like athletes that I grew up watching. Yeah you know, musicians, you know, you hear about some of them passing away. And so when you hear about stuff like that, I'm, you're like, like, you just feel like, damn, my time's coming. You I know. know? <laughs> yeah. Like I'm getting yeah, close. Something every, you don't want to think about. Every, every day you, you live, it's, you're, you're one day closer to, um, uh, but also. But we got to enjoy it. You got to enjoy it. But at the yeah. same time, I'm glad we're doing this because it also, it also uh, helps us um, prepare and not look at death so uh, in a morbid way, you know, like, yeah. uh, to me, it's, it's just the next part of life, you know, and we just. No, yeah, yeah you're. You have, to, you're um, you, have to, you have to embrace it, you know, like you know. Yeah. We had a, a, a muralist. I don't know if you know him, Raúl. He came by like a few episodes before, and he was talking about the same idea. Yeah. He's all, he was talking about how we're here temporarily, mm -hmm. and whatever we're doing right now is what we're leaving. You know, yeah. the example that we we came and did yeah. our artwork, or just like helping out others, and yeah. you know, this it's what it speaks about us. Because then there's like. People will forget about us in a hundred or two hundred years, but yeah, that's no, I uh, I agree. Yeah. And uh, yeah, being immortal and like yeah. and painting or just you know that's Ninoska. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's a good thing you came because that way now people yeah. know the, there's more deeper feelings, the more personal to your artwork. It's not just like oh, I'm gonna paint this icon in this form. You know, there's more meaning to it. It's more powerful. Yeah, yeah, because our our work is just it's caricatures, but it's not that it's not that just it's, it's not that simplistic. Yeah, it's exactly. Very, it's more complicated because it all comes from something you loved. You know, so nice. And, yeah. And some people might find that to be a little you know goofy that oh mm. how, how could you love a Skeletor? You know, but hey man, nah. like, you know, it's not, it's not the whole thing of like Skeletor from He Man. It's just the whole. Um, it's just the time, you know, like the, the, the time you were in, you know? You miss the yeah. time watching it. The Ninja Turtles. Yeah, you miss being a five-year-old kid yeah. and having your mom right there. And, you know, it, it makes you remember stuff, and it makes, especially for people who don't have their parents anymore. Yeah, you know? that's true. So, like, it's, you look back at those good times, you know, people, your mom in the kitchen, watching cartoons, not having to go to work or school, just, you know, just, just enjoying your, your youth, you know? So that's, that's what's awesome about drawing stuff like that. You remember Skeletor, but it also makes you remember the what, time was, what was going it, on yeah. around you while you were watching that. Everything. You so remember like your cousins, or yeah, like, yeah, I don't know you about know? you, but I yeah. would have my cousins. We were playing like Mario, like yeah, nineties. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, we've drawn Mario and Luigi, and same thing. I, I remember those guys because of the Nintendo era. And, yeah, and that was so cool. And like now, you know, video game has become so big. You know. Yeah, it's but, all a whole different thing. You know, yeah, it's a whole different thing. But before that was all about just the love of skin together and with your friends. You know, it's about your friends just having fun together. And so you miss that too. You miss the friends because most of the time, those kids that you grew up with watching stuff like that, you don't even know them anymore. No, yeah, people you know? grow apart. They just, yeah, I don't even. I don't even know. He what goes those, this way. He goes that way. All those kids I grew up with, I, I grew up a couple blocks away, and, and I don't even know where those guys are anymore. Hey. But but that's what, that's what's cool about drawing Mario Brothers of the Calaveras because it helps you remember, you know. So, that's so when you when you look at that, you remember those uh, those times, you know. And um, sorry, um, 
if people wanted like the originals, where can they find your like the originals? Do you sell them or do you keep those? We 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 sell them. We sell them. They just have to go to our house. Oh, I mean, like, because some people have like <laughs> online stores and like. Yeah, we have online store. We have an Etsy, but we don't have our we don't have our originals listed there. Okay. Um, but we always tell them if they want the original. They could just uh, we could figure something out. We could bring it somewhere to a show or whatever. But and then they're they're okay with going to our house. Our our dogs might bite them, but you know, like, but you know, that's part it's of the free dog bite. That's, that's part purchase. of the that's part of the adventure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah. so the next one, uh, this one more has like more that has skin, <laughs> like the message to it, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah my first, they have skin because we don't really draw skin. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we don't. I, I, I didn't get that. So yeah, no. we we like our we like our art skinless. Skinless. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that one Jackie drew for an event called um, Viva la Mujer. It took place a few months ago. I heard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In I, down, I downtown think LA. I had another friend or yeah. acquaintance. That yeah, yeah. Your, your friend had worked there. No, no. Um, she did a piece for it. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. she she did that one, and uh, she, that's when she entered. And it's a. Uh, it's supposed to be like something like of uh, her, her and her mom. Her yeah. mom's teaching her about uh, about just yeah, life traits life. of uh, like womanhood. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not sure you could read what it says, you know, but it has all the stuff. It's very. Uh, mm. I mean, obviously, it's a feminist piece. It's it's about feminism. Yeah. And teaching women, teaching each other how to like value each other and value themselves as a woman. Yeah. And you know, so because the event was about. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, woman. it's about yeah, it's about uh celebrating women, you know. Womenhood, yeah. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. This one that one's called uh Libertad de Amor. Yeah, yeah. It's like zapatistas no. or it's just like they have the <laughs> yeah. Where do you go? Oh there you go. <laughs> No, yeah, it's because a camera was like that. Okay. That, yeah, that one is a. Uh, it's kind of a double meaning that drawing. Uh, uh, it's about zapatistas, uh, obviously about them, in their trek to. Uh, they've they've been fighting for their cause since yeah. like 1994. You know, obviously it's about them, but the rea Jackie drew that one. The first, obviously, I mean, to let you know, the first few drawings we're looking at, they're all Jackie's drawings. Okay. So the last three have been hers. This is another one of hers. Uh, but the reason she drew the sarape in kind of rainbow colors. Yeah. Right. Because she wanted. It's not. Act, it's an. It's not an actual pareja. There. Uh, it's a. It's a gay man and a lesbian woman. Oh. You see. Yeah. 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 You see? So. Um, I would, would yeah. never caught that. Yeah. I, I hope people who have bought it don't <laughs> think something. You know. But. Uh, yeah. That's what that is. Because it's kind of like you know. You remember watching a movie, Brokeback Mountain. I've heard of it, but I haven't watched it. Yeah, yeah. To, to me, it kind of speaks to that movie because Brokeback Mountain was kind of like, you know, the, you know, I guess in the South, maybe they're more conservative. Yeah, so, yeah, they definitely. So, so, so the whole idea of gay cowboys yeah. was very uh, taboo, you know? So that's what that movie was, was trying to, like, express was that uh, there's gay people here, too, you know? And, and they didn't want, you know, so especially, and then the whole thing of men being gay, it, Society seems to be more okay with women. Yeah. More, I mean, obviously, more men. They're okay with women, but uh, men. Some people still have like kind of like a, you know they don't they're not too comfortable. But so that's kind of the, that's where that speaks from. It's it's that's like all. being part of a movement, but also within that movement is another movement that's not always seen and heard. Yeah. So because they have their own uh, struggles with sexuality and being open that they maybe sometimes hide it because even even, you... even even in, unfortunately even in from what i've seen in my my opinion um even in some more liberal movements there's still a little bit of conservatism yeah that you know some people don't feel too comfortable expressing who they really are so that's so, why you guys have libertad de amor yeah yeah yeah. Mean, yeah yeah so that's what that means so that's and then the dog is there too because um yeah, Jackie drew that because uh, she wants. It's because also también too. It's like even in different movements, también other movements get kind of like you know they could get a little like sidetracked. Yeah. Uh, we're we're uh, we're vegan. Okay. Oh. We're uh, vegan and nice. um, 
we're very uh, we're, we support like animals and the, oh, animal. and you know animal liberation and stuff like that. Yeah. And so that's why we don't eat meat. And so we wanted to include the the dog there because we kind of feel like the dog is also animals have their own revolution to fight, and people are thankfully fighting for them. So so that's why yeah. that's why she drew the animal there to the dog. So so it's like three in one. It's like the zapatistas, but also the LGBTQ. You know, and also animals. So it's all just intertwined. You know, so in one piece. In one piece. So that's what we're trying to. We're trying to. We're trying to speak to different people at all at the same time. People who are vegan animal lovers, who are, you know, who are revolutionaries. You know, like uh, feminists, uh, pro pro gay. Yeah. So yeah. So that's what you know. So again, that. It's just a simple drawing, but it has a lot of stuff in it. You know, that's so, good. So it's that's that's I didn't draw that, but that's uh, that's one of, that's one of my favorite ones. I wish I'd have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more like LA culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the complete opposite here. <laughs> oh no, it's, you could go back to it. <laughs> oh okay. I thought uh, that was it. I was like no, LA culture. No, no, that's mine, man. That's my first one. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. So this is okay. first one. That that one. Uh, that one. It it says think love on the banner. Yeah, that's yeah. the name of the piece, right? Yeah, thank. And when when I drew it, uh, um, there, I'm not sure. If you're, I'm not sure if you're a big sports fan or a big Dodger fan. Not so much. More when when I drew it, there was this incident at Dodger Stadium, oh. involving a, a Dodger fan. And uh, yeah, I heard Dodger of that. fans uh, and, killing a Giants fan. Yeah, I heard of that. that so that was bad. so there's this like negative. Um, I guess you know there's this negative thing about. People, some people view Dodger fans as like cholillos. Yeah, a lot of people do. Thugs or uh, thugs, thugs yeah. or troublemakers, and you know they're not. You know, they, you know every sports team has. In society, everyone has. It's just the media. In, in every in every sector of society, you have people that are just bad and people that are good. And but the like you said, the media just like Twisted, sometimes yeah. they want to make everything into cops, into a cop show. You know, so yeah. So they wanted just for ratings, you know. So, but the the Dodger fans have had a long history of having like a negative, uh, you know, like outlook on them, I guess. So I drew that to say that you know what, look, no, it's not that. It's people go to the games and they have fun and it's think love, you know, not not think something else. It's like so that's why I drew that like that. And yeah, it's, it's, them having, it's the same having fun and and the coolest thing about that piece is that you know when we started we would sell to people and we just kind of felt like. When you sell, I always thought, you know, if you're gonna sell calaveras, you're gonna sell it just to a specific market. I just thought, uh, maybe just punkers and rockers will yeah. buy our stuff because they like skulls. But it's it's cool to see that, reg, you know, I guess what I would call just like maybe like middle class regular folk, or you know, they're the ones that buy most of our work. Wow. People that you would Good never you know. even think would buy our work, like people who just look like they're just like working class people who have like three kids, they live in Downey and. Yeah, I you, mean, you would never think that, and they're the ones that buy the most, and it's really cool to see that, you know. So it's cool that for them to like they like that drawing a lot. It's one of our, our most popular ones, obviously because it's the Dodger one. The Dodger, yeah, that's what I know. Like, LA and, and, uh, and I guess some. I mean, I, I know some people are always gonna think that when artists draw stuff, like when they take an idea and they kind of do that mash art, they always feel like, oh, well, you're, you're kind of taking the easy route of like just taking something that's already there and just whatever and make money, whatever. But to me, it's, it's again, it's not about that. It's about something that I really like. I'm a big sports fan. I'm a big Dodger fan, obviously. And, um, and but to me, it means more than that because like I've I've grew up on the Dodgers. My dad got me into them. My dad would talk to me about Fernando Valenzuela. So it's a long, it's a long theme. I, I even learned about Chavez Ravine. Oh yeah, when the yeah the whole displacement. Yeah. And I, I, there was a good documentary about that on um, Netflix and. But you know, I, I acknowledge that, and I know that took, it was a bad moment in LA, it was, it was LA, LA history. Messed up. Oh well, yeah, then that's why he's both those people. Oh well, yeah, that's and that's why people didn't want to, uh, brown people didn't want to be Dodger fans anymore. And you know, if you if you watch that documentary, it kind of tells you that Dodgers were kind of sneaky about getting Valenzuela. Yeah. They got him with the purpose of getting back the brown Mexican folk, and they accomplished their goal. And uh, now they own Dodger Stadium. Yeah, all the fans seem to be all brown, and I mean, from what I see, I don't know. Yeah, no, there's, mother, there's, yeah, there's more. There's more. There's more, but yeah, they, they 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 came back, I guess. Yeah, because they weren't there in the '70s. They were like, nah, we're not gonna support you because of Chavez Ravine. So to me, that drawing is about that, about just you know loving and you know 
taking something simple like baseball and just making a thing of it, you know. And so, but it, it came from that incident of the Giants fan dying. So. so yeah. yeah, looking at it, yeah, I'm like, oh, the Dodgers, like, this guy just got mashed up. I'm yeah, like, yeah, no. Nah, but now that you told me, yeah, you know, yeah. So again, cool. all our work, it's, it has the same thing. It's just like it's a drawing. It might just be our character, but when an artist paints something, I think they always have a deeper meaning behind yeah. it. You know, so. Yeah. This one's really cool. It's, this is, yeah, these, these are all my drawings. The last. The yeah, last yeah. <laughs> is it presentation? Yeah, yeah. It's this is my this is my side. You know? I hope I did a good job explaining Jackie. You know, but uh, this uh, I did this a year oh. ago. This is about this is actually me. Back yeah, in, that's back, what I was like. Back in, high, back in high school, that's me walking around Hollenbeck Park. That's did what you used the, to have a. Yeah, like, like a little character? bit. Yeah, but I just had more like just blue hair. I had, I had a mohawk. I never spiked it up like that. Yeah. But, um, Blue hair? Yeah, I had blue hair, I had pink hair, I had red hair, I had blonde, orange, silver, all of them. I would I would wear medias. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I wear medias, paint my fingernails. Don't ask me why now, but I did that. I guess I was I guess in some way you just gonna rebel. I yeah, and those times you're like And yeah. I wasn't really to piss off my parents, but it was more just like piss off Society. people. Piss off people that I didn't like, I guess. I don't know. But it was I look back and now I'm like, wow! I put myself in a lot of trouble. I, mean, I could have, I could have got my ass. Yeah. Sorry, I could have did, you know, but um, yeah, I could have got my my butt beat for that. But yeah, but you know, I I, I learned to have a backbone. Yeah. Because I'm being a punk rocker in Bull Heights in the '90s. Especially that yeah. kind that kind of punk rocker wasn't really. It was a normal run. Not normal, just man, it wasn't safe. <laughs> it wasn't accepted. It wasn't safe. Just wasn't safe, yeah. you know. But. But yeah, but you know the reason I, I put that right there. I, all the banners there are. I'm not sure. If you, are you are you familiar with a lot of punk bands? Nah, not no? so okay. much. All the banners are different, uh, like um, bands that I used to like before. I still like them now. Yeah. But the reason I put punk rock uh, saved my life was because I kind of felt like it did, not because of it got me off the streets. Because I I fortunately still kept you out of trouble. That is worse. I, no, actually, no. It got me more into trouble. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I started being a vago, you know, but uh, uh, the reason to say I kind of feel like it saved my life was because I would read a lot of the lyrics okay. and a lot of the, a lot of the stuff they would talk about. And I learned a lot. I learned way more stuff through punk than in my own school, <laughs> you know, stuff about, That's how messed up the you know, about, is. yeah, about religion, you know, society, different things. It just gave you different ideas, you know, instead of just looking at something one way, I kind of gave you a third eye, so yeah. to speak. So. The reason I, I I I was very grateful for like and I still love punk, but that it saved my life in a sense of not like because I I, I would have been a gangbanger. I didn't yeah, have, a lot of people. I didn't have that kind of. Fortunately for me, I, I had very good parents and I didn't have that kind of trouble. But it saved my life as of, as far as like uh, mentally, like I was questioning stuff about like I don't understand why things had to be a certain way, religion and stuff like yeah. that. So you know, um, so it, it helped me grow as uh, in my mind I guess intellectually so because right. of that I maybe I would have gone some other way but I, because of that I grew up even to now questioning everything and always trying to take a different road yeah and not you know so so yeah so uh, what we do now is very punk rock so <laughs> very punk rock. yeah it has the same elements you know that's so, cool man you know. I saw that one <laughs> That was funky. Yeah, I actually did that one before the movie came out. I had no idea the movie was coming out. Do you, was that for somebody or is it like your own, because you like that kind of music or? I, I, I do like hip hop. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I do like hip hop. I didn't always like it, but I be, uh, just got into it. I started liking hip hop back uh, 2004. There was, a, there was an anti 4th of July event. Okay. And. Uh, that group uh, Dead Press played. Okay. I'm not sure if you heard of them, but they were very like I was like wow. I was, <laughs> they were like, pff, like just totally blew my mind. I yeah. was just like, and it wasn't. Well, the show was in Watts, so they're like talking all kinds of like stuff like anti-system, anti like stuff like that. Meanwhile, there's fireworks going off in the background, so it's kind of like strange because there's like these dudes who are like talking about anti anti stuff, and yeah. meanwhile there's being stuff. There's people in the background popping fireworks. I mean, they don't pop fireworks because they're celebrating something. They, I mean, obviously, they don't, they're not celebrating in America. They're celebrating, yeah. I mean, maybe, I'm, I'm assuming they're not, you know, but they're just popping because they want to have a good time, That's, which is fine, you know? But uh, these guys are talking about all kinds of stuff. It was, it was, it was wild. So 
I went home, I checked them out, and then I started discovering all these other groups. And I was like, yeah, that, but that group was the one that got me to hip hop. I, I was never really a big um, NWA fan for you know some reasons, you know, but, but um, I like I like their their act, their purpose, especially yeah. in the time they were around. The reason why they got so big and why they were they were very important for that era. And all those guys in that group, well, at least a couple of them have, you know, have had very good careers. But uh, they're they're as far as like artists creating something out of nothing. Have you ever yeah. read about Ice Cube and Dr. Dre? They just came pretty much from yeah from from nothing, you know. So to me, that's very inspiring. And um, so. And so that, that to me is very, you know, it's inspiring to see something like that. And then you feel like I could do that too, you know, so. And on this one, it has like names on the hats or? Yeah, I just, I just replaced, because uh, Easy es hat's supposed to say Compton. Yeah. I just put Calacas. And on uh, Dr. Dre's hat, I think it said Raiders. And I just put Muertos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just took it out, you know. I kind of think that Ice Cube looks more like Ice Cube than maybe Easy e but. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I think Doctor J could have been a little bit better, but no, you can tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, when I saw, I'm like, all right. That's, yeah. That's everyone, them. everyone always asks who the who are the two other guys, and they always they always forget about those guys. Yeah. MC Ren and well, I even forgot the DJ's name. Whatever. That's MC Ren on the on the right, you know. But yeah, they yeah, were, they're not yeah. that well known. Yeah, well, MC Ren. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but the, yeah, I was later influenced by hip hop, and I've, I still love hip hop, you know. That's cool that you, know? you, you, you punk and hip hop. Yeah, I, I've learned to appreciate everything because everything has like, everything has meaning, you know. Just you know, so. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, one, that's one of Jackie's that new drawings. That I think it got yeah, it got shuffled around. A little yeah, that's no, okay. That Jackie's one of the new drawings. She's uh, she drew um. Luis. Luis. Are you, oh, you know about yeah, Bob's yeah, Burgers? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Cartoons, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob's Burgers, yeah. She loves Bob's Burgers. Yeah, it's the, one of the best. Yeah, I, I can watch we were watching over. it last time at the house, and I was, uh, I got hooked. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, too, I'm just too much of a Big Bang Theory fan to, like, switch it, but um, I like, I like Bob's Burgers are really funny, and I like, I could see why people are drawn to, uh, to, uh, what's the other girl's name? Tina. Tina. Yeah, Tina. The awkward one? Yeah, I could yeah, see. Exactly. I could see why Jackie likes her. Cause Jackie exactly. could, not awkward, but Jackie's very. Uh, what's the word? She kind of reminds me of Tina. She has the same kind of characteristics. Oh. Very quiet, <laughs> you know. But at the same time, she's quiet. But then when she does say something, it's really like, oh, interesting, you know, like you know. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie makes me laugh a lot, you know. But right, that's good. But yeah, that's but yeah good. I could I could see why Jackie likes her, cause uh, that girl, that little girl is very. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? But yeah, she's uh she's definitely different now. Yeah. Do you guys uh do you, you have one with Tina also or just Luis? Yeah, we have a Tina one. We have yeah. a Tina one. But I just wanted to put this one because I think it's one of the newest ones she made. That's yeah, and then yeah. What Luis. about what's the name? The the boy. What's she's gonna she's gonna draw him. She's gonna draw the boy. Jean. 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 Yeah. And then Bob and what's the mom's name? Linda. Linda. I'm sorry, Linda. Yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe she'll draw them all together. Nice. I don't think she'll be drawing. Pesto, that guy. I don't think she drank. What's his name? Pesto? Jimmy Pesto. Jimmy Pesto. Yeah, the name, Jimmy, you, so. you know I watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pesto, yeah. It's a very funny show. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's the same guy from Archer. That, well, that one yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Archer, yeah. Yeah, yeah we went to a show last time and uh, some guy was telling us about Archer. I go, you know, yeah. And I told Jack, you know what? The same guy who does this watch yeah. from Bob's Burgers. Yeah. So she went home and she, went, she watched all Archer's the archers. <laughs> uh, she watched all the archers on, uh, yeah. on Netflix. Yeah, I think she watched all the series, right? All the seasons? Yeah. Yeah, I watched some of it, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's cool. It's crazy. It's funny seeing that, hearing that guy's voice at first because you just imagine him as Bob's Burgers, but then that guy's character is also very funny. Yeah. It's very funny. Well, they have one where they mix them. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, yeah, in yeah. Bob's Burgers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, I, that's like one of the best ones. They do the crossover. Yeah. 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 This is the one uh, you were talking about, right? In the logo, the Chewbacca. Yeah, yeah, Chewbacca. Yeah, Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Yeah. But this one, is it still between like skin? Yeah, it was kind of hard to. It was, yeah, some characters are hard to draw because if you would just draw bone, you wouldn't look like Chewbacca anymore. It'd look like somebody else. Like it was wearing like. A, yeah, it just. But I'm like, like who is that? Yeah. Yeah. So, and some of our drawings are actually based on people's uh, orders when you want custom work. Oh, right. So this one was off. Uh, Oh, one of our good customers, very nice guy. Uh, he um, he asked for Chewbacca, 
And that one actually, I drew it on wood, so the background is on wood. Panel? Yeah, on a, like a piece of wood. Yeah. Which is cool about sometimes about art too. Sometimes people think that oh well, I want I need to draw on paper or canvas. Oh no. You could draw on anything. Yeah, yeah. It's we've drawn a while on, to learn we've that. drawn on frying pans, skateboards. Frying pan? That's frying pan's part. probably my favorite. I wish I wish I could, I could have showed you a picture of that, but uh, yeah, the frying pans are really cool. But it's really hard because it's a, it's a cylinder. You have to like, you know, oh, a lot of, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, it wasn't too easy, but but it's fun. It's fun to draw stuff like that, like gumball machines, right? Gumb We've drawn like gumball machine? machines. Yeah. Yeah. I've done skateboards, not. Yeah, I guess skateboards are cool. Yeah. yeah. Gumball machines, yeah. So all kinds of stuff. Yeah, but that was for a guy, and um, you know, I, I like the way it came out, and it was cool because it wasn't really calavera. It was more like just he's there. The calavera's there. You just have to like maybe like. No, and you know it's one it, of yours. You guys. Tug at his weave, you know, and just take his weave out, and he'll he'll be there, you know. You know. Regardless, but like you know, it's like an Inosca. You can tell. Oh, thank you. Just yeah. like the actual, uh, yeah. like the style. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. 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 Borracho. I, I put that one because I just I just posted it on Facebook and a lot of people liked it. I just wanted to, also because it, it's skin. I wanted to show people that. Yeah. Again. Uh, yeah. Some some I think that we've had a couple of people ask us like, do you guys don't do you guys join team that's not. Calavera. I'm like, we could draw stuff. People think, well, yeah, just maybe I'm like, maybe I'm thinking, man, do you think we can't draw anything else? Like, you know, like, no, I'm gonna show you watch. I could draw skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I like, I like this. My drew like last year we had a loteria show and um, I, I drew that one and it was a uh, on the, on this bottle it says uh, hope. Oh well, yeah, it's yeah. hard to see it from here, but yeah, but on the bottle it says it says hope and um, I drew him kind of like El Borracho. He had his face, but he has kind of like a Morrissey haircut. Yeah, and then he has like his tattoos are. Uh, he has a red star on his arm, and on the other side it says Aztec. And he has like kind of like, he has Converse, he has a Mexican flag, a uh, bandana, Chapulín shirt. So it's like a it's like a guy. In the neighborhood, who's like, he's like a cool, hip punk rocker guy. Please. And but the reason I put hope on the beer is because sometimes, on some sometimes people are involved in certain movements. And sometimes things could deter the movement from expanding or growing. Yeah. And then and there's been times where drugs or alcohol <laughs> have been have been noted in to the do influence, that. Influence, yeah. Have the influence. You not not just in movements, but even with yourself. Sometimes drugs and alcohol could could tear you down. So if instead of drinking alcohol, you know, maybe drink drink some hope. Drink some hope. Yeah. And then you know that that could get you through. What about the number? Is the number just well? That's that's the random? number from the from the loteria set. Oh, like right. the number twenty five. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna put something else, but um, I couldn't think of think of a better number. But I just left it at that, just so people could recognize it. Because I didn't I didn't draw the the guy's face. Down. I didn't draw that guy's face exactly like El Borracho. It looks a little different, but um. No, this guy doesn't look like he's super wasted. <laughs> nah. This is more like he's like cold. He's hanging somewhere. Yeah. But he's not drinking, you know. I mean, obviously, we're not against alcohol. I, no, I, no, no. I have a, I have a beer once in a while, but um, it's normal. It's just about it's it's just, it. Yeah, yeah, but it's just about, you know, expressing the fact that you know sometimes it's better to maybe just take a whiff of knowledge instead of something else, you know. So yeah. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Inoska. Yeah. Knowledge. Yeah. And shirts, right? Yeah, those are our shirts. Those are those are uh, Jackie sisters right there. Okay. Yeah. Then. W and that's our logo. You can't really see it, but that's our. We have this big skull logo that we put on our what table. I was ask. Yeah. yeah, it's like this big. And what is it made out of? It's just wood. It's wood, like yeah, it's wood. Yeah. Paint it. Yeah, and it's our. It, we, right now, actually, we're 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 uh, repainting it. We're gonna touch. We're gonna color it some other color, but um. That's our name. Has our info on the bottom, and that's that's our house. And those are her sisters modeling our shirts and our tote bags. Oh yeah, tote bags. Yeah, yeah. those are tote bags, and they're on their side, like, like bike bike messenger stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, do they are they prints also, or are they like hand? Uh, no, they're prints. Uh, they're uh, they're uh, what's that material? What's that? What do you do with that? Oh, heat transfer. Transfer. Yeah, and uh, everything we do, our prints on our on on the wood, our stickers, our shirts, tote bags, we all do it at home. It's all Homemade. it's all it's all done by us. We don't no we don't we don't we don't we don't take it somewhere and like no we, we you know so so we like to live up live up to the whole DIY thing. I'm talking about do it yourself, yeah. which is the whole again punk. 
were very punk about that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're like, you know, because, you know, also because you learn. You learn how to do different, you know. It's a, the whole thing is to also to learn how to do different things and not just rely on somebody else. Yeah, so, sure. like, so you learn, you know. So we've known, we've learned a lot, a lot of different things the last five years as opposed to what we didn't know in the beginning. Yeah, you know, and then so. you wouldn't have learned it if you were just gone somewhere out here. Yeah, make, yeah, that's make better to learn. Yeah, yeah, because then you expand your uh, your field. You know, it's like so you you'll you'll be good at different things, not just one thing. You know. So, yeah. 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 Let's see what we got. That's your uh, your venue setup. That's uh, that's uh, or like a, a setup. A, yeah, that's our setup. We have our a small setup at Olvera Street. Oh, it's Olvera Street. Yeah, it's Olvera Street. That's that's inside of a store called um, Echo Con Cariño. Echo Con Cariño. Yeah, it's on, it's on Olvera Street. It's right in the middle of the corridor, and it's a spot in their store. And we've been there for about I think a year and a half. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you're not. So uh, people, you guys can find them at uh, Olvera Street. Yeah. Uh, hecho, en, hecho con cariño. Hecho con cariño. Hecho con cariño. Cool. And we, yeah, and we have, uh, we also have our stuff at uh, at uh, Quetzal Boutique. Quetzal Boutique. And, yeah. And, and we're trying to get into a couple other stores that are outside of LA County, because you know, just like a band, you want to expand and then, your, your audience. You know. Because yeah. art, to me, art just like me, it's kind of like music where. You have an audience, but you need to, like bands, when they want to, they're too big already for their their uh, little region. They want to start touring. Tour, you guys. So, yeah, so it's like bands start touring. Mosca tour. California. So we want to be, we want to take our stuff somewhere else and maybe see how we do, you know. Also, because it's it's just, it's adventures too. You know, you want to have a good adventure and you know stuff like that, you know. And uh, so you guys have only done shows in L.A. so far, or you've done like... Yeah, we, we, we've always been in L.A., L.A. County, you know, Orange County, nothing ever. We did Oceanside one time, but we want to go different places. Have yeah. you guys been invited to like... Yeah, we've been invited to a lot of places, like to Frisco. Yeah, Frisco. Oakland, but I just the time wasn't right. But we want to, we want to, it'll be fun. We want to, you know, we want to, it's nice to be able to, to use your artwork to travel, you know. Oh, that's it's cool. A, that's yeah, cool. It's cool. It's Yeah, it's a privilege. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then now we got a couple of flyers. I don't. I, I saw. I don't know. If, a couple of them didn't have years on them. I don't know. If this. Oh year. yeah, yeah. It's. I'll explain. This one was a, a show we just did a couple weeks ago at Nola, in Long Beach, the Museum of Latin American Art. Oh okay. We did. We did the Latino uh, com, Comics Expo. That was like their fifth edition, I think. The reason I, that one just passed, but the reason I posted it up was because we did that show three years ago. Okay. And we 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 did the show three years ago. We kind of felt like we learned a lot, observing other artists how they handle their work and how they uh, put their work up. Because at that time we were still in the process of learning how to, you know, I guess do our setup. And when I saw how they were doing their stuff, I was like, wow. You saw theirs and you saw yours. I was like, like, we gotta we gotta uh, step, we gotta step it up a little bit. Yeah. You know? But um. Usually what happens. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, and you need to, but it was comic book artists, the way they set up is a little different because they all have kind of like banners behind them. It's a different, it's a different scene, but as far as like what you could make your art into, because the guy who invited us, I was like, are you sure we belong here? Because it's like more comic book artists. So he told us, he told me like, you know what? I thought you guys were aiming for that because it looks like your characters are like a guy. It looks like it's the same character just they're dressed differently. And I was like, you know what, you're right, you know, it could be that, you know, too, you know, so that was nice of them. And so we kind of feel like our work could also be part of that genre of comic books because it looks like a character or characters that are just yeah. doing different things, you know, so, yeah. So that was, I learned a lot. I, per you, I personally learned a lot that day. And you guys took like all your pieces or just certain ones? Just have? certain ones, we, and just certain ones. We only had like a handful of pieces. This last time we took hundreds. So, yeah. yeah, so we from that three years, we learned a lot. So, so it just goes to show. Yeah, because if you wouldn't have gone, been like, oh, it's comic book only.